How's it going everybody, Max here, coming to you from New York City. In this latest update, I wanna to talk to you guys about one of my favorite topics, and that is chocolate. Now, chocolate has been well documented to be good for your health. Uh, and in this video update, I'm gonna list a few of the ways. So first, there's your brain health. Now, cocoa flavanols have been said to enhance brain perfusion, which is a fancy way of saying improved blood flow to the brain. And reduced blood flow to the brain has been linked with things like dementia. And enhanced blood flow has been linked with improved cognitive performance. Cocoa flavanols also can boost insulin sensitivity. If you've been following me, you know that this is a huge thing. Insulin sensitivity is very important because your brain cells rely on glucose and insulin is the way in which glucose is shuttled into your cells for use as fuel. In fact, a recent study showed that cocoflavanols can reverse age-related cognitive decline, so this is a great thing. Now, cocoflavanols are also really good for your heart health and this is also important to brain health. They seem to relax the thin layer of cells that line your veins and capillaries throughout your body. Additionally, it's been shown to boost your HDL, which is your good cholesterol. So in summary, cocoflavanols are really good for you, but you wanna make sure that the chocolate that you're consuming has the flavanols in them that are said to have these benefits. And so how do you know which uh, chocolate to eat? So here are two very common chocolate bars that I picked up just from my local CVS. Now in general, you want the higher percentage of cacao because that basically elbows out room for sugar and so you're getting more cocoa. And you want this cocoa to be in the form of cocoa solids, not cocoa butter. Definitely don't want the first ingredient to be sugar, that should be a given. But you definitely want to inspect the chocolate bars because in some cases you'll find that the cocoa has been processed with alkali. Now, between these two bars, the 90% one has been processed with alcohol, whereas the 85% has not. And you can see right here on the back, cocoa powder processed with alkali. And that's on the 90% one. So between these two bars, the 85% one is actually healthier and probably contains more flavanols because processing with alkali, also known as Dutch processing, ruins the flavanol content of chocolate. This one does not say that it's been processed with alkali, so this would be the better choice. All right, everybody, that's it for me. If you like these, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'm trying to post videos once a week uh, with some of the things that I know. And follow me on Twitter, at Max Luger. I will see you next time. Peace.